International Mafia, welcome back to my channel and in this short tutorial I'm gonna teach you how you can create your first Instagram stories mask with sparkly yarn. Let's begin! In the beginning of this video I would like to give you amazing exciting news and uh, Sparky R recently announced that they're gonna give access to everyone before that to become a creator on Sparky AR and to create your own Instagram stories, uh, filters, masks and so on. You had to apply for being a beta tester and it took quite some time to get approved on this platform. But now Spark AR gave access to everyone, which means without any application, you can create a mask right away. So in this short tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how you can create a mask for your Instagram stories using Spark AR. For this, you need to go to the website that I'm gonna show you right now and to download platform Spark AR, as well as uh, click in the description box and download some extra materials that we will need in order to make the whole process complete so you can start using your own Instagram mask. Before we dive into the tutorial, I'm gonna quickly give you some advantages of using your own or creating your own Instagram mask and the first advantage is of course to help gain you more followers so once uh, you publish your Instagram mask you will see uh, this option on your Instagram so once people like your mask they can only use it once they start to follow you that means if you create something really amazing many people will really love to use your mask and thus will follow your account I know uh, amazing cases when a person created a cool Instagram mask and just within overnight they gained more than 100,000 followers so I wish you good luck to create something amazing and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how you can create a frame that you can use your, in your Instagram stories. Let's begin with the tutorial. The first thing we need to do is to uh, download Spark AR. We just type in, in Google Spark AR and then go to their official website and click download. Download the program for a Mac or Windows and then when it's the load you have to make sure it is properly set and installed in your computer. Uh, in the next step we need to prepare the material that we're going to use for our Instagram mask. I have prepared this frame that we are going to use to create our uh, Instagram story in Spark AR. So once uh, you can go ahead and Google what you want, wish or I used Canva to create this one and then I edited it in Photoshop. Uh, very important, save this uh, file in PNG. Uh, Canva also allows you to save it in PNG but make sure that uh, you have a transparent background where actually the pictures the picture will be. So once you prepare your initial material, what we need to do in the next step is uh, to open our Spark ER. You have to log in. Uh, I'm already logged in, so I skip this um, step. So once you log in with your Facebook credits, make sure that Instagram where you want to present uh, your preset is connected to your Facebook page properly. Then we go ahead and click on Create Project. And let me uh, quickly walk you through through this um, interface. Here on this you can see workspace. Uh, here you can change different people. So for example, we're going to use this lady right here. Here you add uh, different objects, assets, as well as materials. And this button we're going to use a little bit later. Here is your working uh, panel where you can adjust some numbers, positions, and um, colors, and so on. The, the first thing we're going to do is to go ahead and add canvas. I'm going to insert canvas. And then in canvas, we are going to add another thing, which is rectangle. Insert. And then uh, here we need to change the size of the rectangle that it is um, spread wide uh, according to the screen size. So and here, here you have to just click full width, full height. And here we go, it's done. Then the next step, we need to, to edit um, material to the rectangle, so it's not uh, just squares. We go ahead and click this uh, material uh, button, and now we have material over here. The next step, what we are going to do is to go ahead and add uh, texture. We go 
uh, to choose file and choose our frame that we have prepared. So here you go. Now you can see it, how it is working. Uh, yeah, that is basically done. You can also adjust some um, uh, colors or whatever you want in this um, frame. I hope you liked this video so far. Make sure to smash this like button and subscribe to my channel if you are not yet. And hit the notification bell button to not miss any of my videos. The next thing we are going to do is to go ahead and export it. Then uh, click export, save it as old frame old frame into your desktop so it's easier for you to find uh, where it is. The next thing we need to do is to actually um, click on open Spark AR but before that when before we start to upload our preset here you have to see a button upload preset we have to create an icon. For this to, den to download uh, the guidelines to create an icon in Photoshop you have to uh, download some files that are in the de description box. I will first go in uh, again in Canva and find the, the design. I'm going to go to Instagram post, for example, and choose some icon that would represent my effect. I would go ahead and uh, click on elements and search for frame. For example, I'm going to use this one. Again, this frame over here and I'm going to change it to white. And this I'm going to change to white as well. So we are going to download it as PNG download. Um, the next thing we are going to um, open it in Photoshop and again cut out uh, the inside thing so it's um, that it's properly done. Okay, and then we are just going to copy it and uh, cut it out. Okay, now it's ready. The next thing we are going to uh, open is our folder with uh, the guidelines to create an icon. So for me it is already open and what I'm gonna do now is um, I'm gonna delete this. Now I'm gonna first add my frame and then I'm going to delete uh, this one here and make it much smaller. Um, Maybe I will make it a little bit bigger. Um, maybe add some. Okay, so once I'm happy with my result, I'd go ahead and save it as um, icon. Uh, and I'm gonna save it on in desktop as well and in PNG format. So save, okay. Uh, the next thing we are going to go to our page in uh, Spark AR Hub. And then um, we go to get started and then we click on Instagram. You have to see who is uh, the business owner, that it should be you and where this mask is going to be placed. Uh, we will uh, write Polaroid frame and then click next and then here we have to um, choose our icon that we just created. You have to see that it's properly working. All right. The next we are going to add our file that we just saved. I'm just going to uh, drag and drop it. Agree with um, the policy and then uh, go continue. And now you can see how this uh, frame is going to look on your Instagram stories. Or I forgot to show you that in the Spark AR you can also use the button right here and send it to your uh, Instagram camera. But since we already made everything, I'm going to just uh, click this button right here and then you will see this effect into you in your Instagram stories. You can see this trial. Our frame is ready and we just go ahead and record something that we you have to record the video that's going to be seen in the preview and then go ahead and save it all right and the next thing we are going to do is go ahead and place our video we just saved and choose a category i'm going to choose camera styles and uh, drag our video that we just made with our new effect to the thumbnail let's choose this one and uh, we go ahead and click next uh, and then here you can choose uh, either you want to schedule it or make it active once it's approved. I'm going to 
keep it, make it active once it's approved, next. And here you have to shortly explain what is your preset about. I'm gonna just write as it is. All right, and then we click next and um, we check everything what we have filled and we go ahead and submit for the review. So once uh, your mask is approved, you will see it in your Instagram story how I showed it to you in the beginning. If you have any questions, comments, please list them below. And if there is any topic you want me to cover in future videos, make sure to list them as well in the comments box because I create content based on your requests.